Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to talk about Rocky Linux. Yes, that's right, the spiritual successor to CentOS, or one of the spiritual successors. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick overview of Rocky Linux and uh, do an install and just to walk through that and check it out. Let's get started. All right, here we go. Here we are at the Rocky Linux website. And uh, you may be wondering, if you're not familiar with CentOS, then this may be totally off subject for you, but CentOS was a community version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And a while back, a while back, uh, IBM slash Red Hat bought sent us the project and, and everything and combined it. And then eventually they decided that uh, it didn't fit into their model the way it was. And they changed how CentOS is created instead of being just a straight up binary compatible version of whatever version of, uh, of Red Hat they're on. It's now something different, which is an upstream sort of a more of a beta testing area, if you will. Um, but so this caused the whole, you know, community to do an uprise and say, what are we going to do? They've taken this out from under our, our, our feet and we don't want to pay for the Red Hat uh, license. Hence, Rocky Linux was born. So Rocky Linux is a community enterprise operating system designed to be 100% bug for bug compatible with America's top enterprise Linux distribution now um so basically the original one of the founders of centos project has started this and pushed it on so go to the rocky website if you want to learn more about it um so centos 8's support has been cut short and so basically it went from 2029 to 2021 so the end of this year uh, you need to do something about your CentOS 8. This is one of the options. So there are uh, sponsors involved here. If you take a look at some of these sponsors, you get some, some ones there. 45 Drives, big fan of these guys. Um, check them out. So, yeah. Now, let's just go ahead and go over here. Uh, you can look at the news. Um, June 28th. The 8.4 general available release, uh, so GA, and now basically, let's just go look at this here. And so, you have the Red Hat or Rocky Enterprise Software Foundation is pleased to announce the general availability of Rocky Linux 8.4. We've got x86 64 bit and ARM 64 packages available, and there's Docker, uh, Google Cloud Platform has it already. So you can go over here and you can click on the big download button and that'll take you to the downloads of the ISOs so you can install. If you want to know more about documentation, here's the documentation. Uh, the wiki uh, is going to be a great place for information. Um, documentation is probably going to be really great. Installing Rocky Linux. Boom, right there it is. We're gonna go through this real quick, install Rocky Linux as a VM. And uh, so let's, let me show you that. Here we go. Let's go ahead, I've got this started up here. Let's start this computer, this virtual machine. And it is set to be Rocky Linux, yes. So here in just a second, boom. All right, let me see if I can go ahead and do an install, click install Rocky Linux. I'm going to go ahead and change the scaling to local so that we can see this a little bit better. We're making progress here. Here we go. Look, ah, the familiar Red Hat CentOS style um, installation screen. So we're going to go ahead and US English is good for me, but continue. All right. So here we go. You're going to have root account disabled, no user will be created stuff, automatic partitioning selected. Um, 
automatic. Boom, so that's good. Um, let's go ahead and create a user. Boom. So now that you've created a user, go down to begin installation. Now, it's been a while since I've installed uh, CentOS like this. Um, mostly, it, most of the time, I, I uh, when I'm spinning up CentOS, it's uh, for free, free, uh, free PBX or something like that, and it's a little bit different operation when I do those. Um, I used to use CentOS many years ago for things. Um, but I kind of switched over to the Debian Ubuntu route. Um, but recently I've kind of gotten back into the CentOS Rocky Linux, uh, just because really, uh, CentOS and Red Hat, uh, enterprise Linux has always been a very stable, very enterprise focused and, uh, Red Hat has changed their, their, um, licensing so that as a user, you can get free licenses uh, of several uh, Red Hat installations without paying. And so that's great. That's one of the things they did is to cont contribute back when they took away this CentOS from the community. Um, but obviously, I'm kind of on the Rocky bandboard, bandwagon at the moment. I'm thinking this is going to be the option I chose choose to go with when I do these. Um, there are ways that you can take Red Hat your CentOS installation and convert it to a Rocky Linux. So that's always an option. So if you've got CentOS 8 out there and you want to convert it over to a Rocky Linux, there are tutorials out there. And maybe uh, if if you guys want, um, shoot me some comments and I can do a, a video on how to do that and uh, go through the process and walk you through that. Right now we're just going to watch this install. It's going to go through this operation. I'm probably going to speed it up a little bit. All right, there we go. So that is installed. Now there's a EULA you can take a look at, but I'm just going to hit reboot system and see where it takes us. Now, typically, you know, if you have a, an ISO or a CD-ROM CD plugged in there, you may need to uh, eject that. Um, my Proxmox machine here, usually it, it, uh, it uh, automatically does this. Green Obsidian is the name of this release. All right, here we are. We're booting up again for the first time in Rocky Linux 8.4. Who's excited? I am. First time I've done this, and uh, we'll see what happens. Here we are. And we are, let's just go ahead and ping uh, Google. Hmm, looks like we might need to configure stuff. Network unreachable. So we're going to have to configure the network. So let's take a look. Okay. So here we go. We're so that our, our network device is disconnected. So what do we do? Well, we're going to need to configure it. Here we go. Edit connection, activate connection, set host name. All right. Oh, look at this. Automatic IPv4. Automatically connect. Okay. Back. To our network manager and looky there connected now let's see what happens and now we can ping google so if you didn't notice uh you could have done set up the network on this from the installation screen but i wanted to do this um just to give you a little extra stuff so that's that's what we have here so if you're looking to install the new Rocky Linux, it's as easy as that, and you're up and running. And basically, anything you can do with uh, CentOS 8, you should be able to do with, with this. 
All right, so that's an installation of Brocky Linux 8.4. It was a learning experience for me because it's been a long time since I've done that and would mess around with CentOS Rocky Linux now, and uh, it's been a great experience. I'm going to do some more Rocky Linux exploration and tutorials um, because it's new, it's fun, and exciting. We'll see you next week. I'm Kevin Stevenson with GetMeTheGeek.com. If you got value out of this video, go ahead and like and share it. If you'd like to support me on Buy Me a Coffee, there's a link for that too. Everything is appreciated. We'll see you next week. Thanks for joining me.